World War II stands as an unparalleled clash of nations, forever etching its name in history. Its harrowing narrative unfolds with a series of events. To truly grasp its evolution, we must look back to the aftermath of World War I. In short, Germany was held solely responsible for the war. As a consequence of the war's outcome, Germany faced the burden of staggering reparations and endured heavy sanctions. To find a solution, the national mints put out an ever-increasing stream of banknotes, inadvertently devaluing the currency. In response, radical measures were implemented the following year. The devastating Wall Street crash of 1929 sent shockwaves across the globe, inflicting economic turmoil upon Germany. The nation, weakened to its core, witnessed the surge of nationalism in 1933, paving the way for Adolf Hitler and the Nazi Party. Despite the stringent conditions imposed on Germany after World War I, this new totalitarian regime managed to rebuild the country and build a military. Germany embarked on a path of belligerent foreign policy, fervently striving to unify all German-speaking peoples. Italy, disillusioned by its limited territorial gains after fighting alongside the Allies in World War I, fell under the rule of Benito Mussolini. Eager to assert its influence, Italy embarked on a colonial conquest, annexing Ethiopia and plotting a future invasion of Albania. The tumultuous Spanish Civil War raged for three years, with one side backed by the USSR and international brigades, while the nationalist side, led by Francisco Franco, received support from Italy and Germany. The conflict became a testing ground for Italy and Germany, strengthening their armies and forging diplomatic ties. Across the expanse of Asia, Japan capitalized on China's civil war to fuel its own expansionist ambitions, using chemical warfare and biological weapons furthering horrific atrocities. Germany, with the support of its local Nazi party, first annexed Austria, followed by the invasion of the western region of Czechoslovakia. This conquest resulted in the creation of the Slovak Republic as a German satellite state, while Hungary solidified its ties with Germany. Finally, Germany's audacious attack on Poland compelled the United Kingdom and France to declare war, starting World War II. While German forces amassed in the east, Allied troops, including France and the United Kingdom, hesitated to launch a direct offensive in the west. Instead, they sought to sever Germany's vital iron ore supply route passing through Norway. In response to this imminent threat, Germany swiftly invaded both Denmark, Norway, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, and Belgium. Employing the ruthless Blitzkrieg strategy, Adolf Hitler unleashed lightning-fast, concentrated attacks. Germany established its iron grip on the northern and western regions of France. Meanwhile, through an agreement with Germany, the Soviet Union seized control of the Baltic states and a portion of Romania. With the exception of Ireland, all dominions and British colonies actively participated in the conflict. Fierce battles erupted between Italian colonies and Allied forces in Africa. In Europe, the Axis powers established a dominant aerial presence, but Germany fell short of conquering the entire continent. Adapting his plans, Hitler set his sights on invading the Soviet Union, but was delayed by Italy's failed attempt at Greece. With Hungary, Romania, and Bulgaria joining the Axis forces, German armies invaded Yugoslavia and Greece. Throughout Europe, resistance took on diverse forms, from strikes and demonstrations to the protection of wanted individuals. Audacious attempts to assassinate Hitler also took place. On June 22, Axis forces unleashed one of the most monumental military operations in history, targeting the USSR. This fateful event marked the Soviet Union's entry into the ranks of the Allied forces. Well equipped and motorized, 
the overwhelming majority of German troops surged eastward. German forces laid siege to Leningrad, subjecting the city to 872 days of unspeakable horror with millions of civilian casualties. In the south, the German army found itself at the very gates of Moscow, only to be halted by a severe and deadly winter. Meanwhile, SS units mercilessly massacred Slavic and Jewish communities behind the front lines. In Asia, Japan tightened its grip on French Indochina, prompting the United States to impose an embargo on oil and steel. Japan retaliated with a devastating surprise attack on Pearl Harbor, crippling a big portion of the U.S. naval fleet. In response, the United States entered the war on the side of the Allies. Additionally, the U.S. provided crucial supplies to the USSR, aiding their valiant resistance. Japan's empire expanded across the Pacific, subjecting millions of people to subjugation and suffering. Around 10 million Chinese civilians were forced to labor camps. In Indonesia, countless prisoners endured atrocities on Java Island. Furthermore, hundreds of thousands of women were coerced into sexual slavery, serving the Japanese army. In Europe, concentration and extermination camps conducted mass genocide, targeting Jews, resistance fighters, political opponents, gypsies, homosexuals, and the disabled. As Vichy France lost control over its colonies, invasion became inevitable. In a momentous turning point, the Soviets launched a powerful counteroffensive, shifting the momentum of the war. Simultaneously, the Allies gained full control of Africa and meticulously planned a daring invasion of Sicily. This turn of events compelled the newly formed Italian government to seek an armistice, resulting in a swift German invasion. As the USSR continued its relentless push westward, the German army was forced to defend the Eastern Front. On June 6, 1944, the Allies made their historic landing in Normandy, swiftly liberating Paris and turning the tides. On April 30th, Hitler supposedly met his demise, moments before the Soviet forces arrived. Eight days later, Germany surrendered, marking victory for the Allies. The Soviets launched a military invasion through Manchuria, while the US dropped atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Finally, on August 15th, Japan surrendered, the final end of World War II.